going to share with you what's in my travel makeup bag because tomorrow I will be on a plane to Puerto Rico, which I can't wait because I haven't been to Puerto Rico in like three years or so. My mom and I used to go every single year and we haven't been able to, so I'm really excited that we get to go. We'll be staying with family, so I'll get to see a lot of my family and the food. Oh my gosh, the food. I cannot wait. And the weather, because in Tennessee, it's just now starting to warm up a little bit. And I just feel like a part of me is in Puerto Rico because I've said a million times I'm half Puerto Rican, so I just feel like as I get older, I really grasp the culture more and I want to like learn so much more about Puerto Rico so I'm really excited and I need to work on my Spanish because I'm pretty rusty. I might do like a little casual meetup while I'm there because so many of you guys asked me if I could do a meetup. I didn't know so many of you guys live there so if I do do a meetup it'll probably be in San Juan. I will be announcing everything on Twitter and Instagram so make sure you follow me on Twitter and Instagram. It's Amanda Ensing. I'll link it down below because I won't have time to put a video up because I'm not bringing my laptop. I leave tomorrow and I will be there for nine days. I can't even imagine being away from work for nine days. It's just kind of like still setting in. I'll still be putting videos up, so I've already pre-recorded them. But I tried not to bring a whole lot of makeup, but I know that if I get bored, I'm going to want to do makeup or if I get free time or whatever. So with that being said, don't judge me. I know it's probably still a lot of makeup, but for me, this is cutting it down because I love to have options. I don't like to use all the same products every day, um, but... Yeah, so let's go ahead and get into what I'm bringing. Most of my makeup is in this little Weekender by Sonia Kashuk. I used this one in my last travel makeup bag video. I'll link down below if you want to see it from last year. I love this. I got it from Target. I don't know if it's still available. I think that she does a lot of like limited edition stuff. But most of my stuff is in here and then some other stuff is separated out just because I haven't put it in here yet. So let's begin, shall we? Let's start with what I have outside of the bag. So in here, I have a lot of things that are just like small staple products I'm gonna use every single day. First, I have a concealer. This is Max Prep and Prime Highlighting Pen in Light Boost, just to kind of make me look a little bit more awake. While I'm there, I'll probably go for more like bronzy natural makeup. Then another concealer I'm bringing is the MAC Pro Longwear. This doesn't budge. I know it'll stay throughout the heat and it'll last all day. A lot of makeup that I'm bringing is more generated towards oily skin because I'm going to get super oily while I'm there. Like I already know because it's so hot and I'm not used to it because I'm in Tennessee. So I know I'm trying to bring stuff that's going to last all day that I won't have to retouch. Um, I have my House of Lashes Lash Glue. I love this because it has no latex. Lately, any lash glues with latex have been aggravating my eyelids and I haven't been able to wear them, so I'm bringing this in case I decide to wear eyelashes. Then for mascara, I'm bringing this one by IT Cosmetics. This is called Tight Line Full Lash Length Black. It's also supposed to like make your lashes look like you tight line them. I've been loving it. This is the wand. It's a little tiny baby wand. Oh my gosh, I've been loving this so much. My friend gave this to me who works for IT Cosmetics, so I've been loving that. Um, for eyeliner, I'm bringing this brown one by Buxom and also this nude one by NARS, just in case I want to switch it up. I'll probably wear the nude one more than anything else. Then I'm bringing all of my brow products I mentioned in my brow routine. So my brow pomades by Anastasia, my brow powder, tweezers. Um, I'm also going to bring the Brow Wiz by Anastasia. This is in medium ash, just in case. And all the rest of the stuff in here is brow products. Oh, and then I'm bringing for my eye primer, Max Soft Ochre Paint Pot. So in my bag, it has this big first compartment with a zip, a little pouch, another zip. that You can put brushes in here and then a big pocket. I have a separate holder for my brushes, so I'll probably just carry them in that, which I'll show you in a second. So I'm bringing some scissors because you never know when you're going to need them. I use these for like brows, eyelashes. Then I'm bringing my beauty blender. You probably would have seen that one coming. Then let's get into some face products that I'm bringing. I'm taking MAC Fix Plus Water because it's a face refresher, makes my skin just plump, and since it's hot, I know I'm going to need this. I'm actually going to pick up another one before I leave because that one's almost out. For lashes, I'm bringing one pair of my Velour lashes. These are um, Lashaholic. I think it's Guilty Lashaholic. Then I'm going to bring my Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer because it's my favorite. It's waterproof and like I said, I'm probably going to get super oily so this is never let me down when I get oily. 
for a brush cleaner, I'm bringing this little mini Perian Spirit just to clean my brushes throughout the week so they don't get a lot of germs on them. Then for foundation, I'm bringing a few. Now, I like to have my options, and also I don't know if I'm going to go to the beach, if I'm going to tan. I hope I get to tan, so I want to bring some stuff just in case. So if I do get to tan, I'm going to bring this foundation. This is L'Oreal True Match in W6, just in case. I'm also bringing my Garnier BB Cream for oily skin. This was my staple last summer, just because... It keeps you so matte and it's so light on the face, so I'm bringing this. Then for an everyday foundation, I'll be wearing the Revlon Color Stay Whipped, and this is in Warm Golden, just because this is one of the best foundations for oily skin. I love this so much, so I picked up a new one for that. And then the last foundation I'm bringing is a powder one. This is the Bare Minerals Ready Foundation in Medium Beige. I love using this with a duo fiber stippling brush. It gives you the most natural but full coverage finish. So I'm going to bring this just in case it's unbearably hot. I'll be wearing this foundation. I'm also bringing my banana powder. This is amazing for soaking up excess oils on the face. You can also use it to set your concealer if you want. Then I'm bringing my Motives No More Shine Spray for oil control. This and the 10 Years Younger are the only setting sprays I use anymore. They are amazing. And let's go in to some more face products and then I have some eye products. I'm also bringing my Maybelline Dream Matte Powder just because I don't want to use the Bare Minerals Over Foundation because it is full coverage. So this is what I'm going to use for like blotting. This stays in my purse. It's great for on the plane when I need to touch up or like check my lip gloss because this also has a little, I'll show you. This has a little mirror and I also heard that they discontinued this so now there's like a Dream Wonder Powder but I've still got that one. Then for bronzer, I'm just going to bring, first of all, this Anastasia Contour Kit because it has everything in here, like all the contour shades, the under eye shades, so that way I don't have to bring my hourglass powder because it's like a little bit more luxury and I don't want it to break. But I am going to bring some more bronzing products because we can never be too bronze, right? I'm going to be bringing this one by The Balm. This is Betty Luminizer just for like that glow and dewy skin. I'm going to bring this. And then when I wear more natural makeup, I really concentrate on the face. So I will wear a lot more face products and take a lot more steps and then not really do anything with my eyes. Then I'm bringing my Mineralized Skin Finish from MAC. This is called Give Me Sun. Hoping I get a tan so this will look really good. Then for a highlight, I'm bringing the Balm's Mary Luminizer, which I have on my cheekbones today. You guys know I like to have that little glow. And then for a blush, I'm only bringing one. I'm taking NARS Orgasm just because it goes with everything. Then for eyeshadows, I'm bringing my Travel Z palette. I just took them out of my Big Z palette. These are all Makeup Geek shadows. Surprise, surprise. The colors I'm bringing are just like everyday. Um, Creme Brulee, Cocoa Bear, Mocha, Shima Shima, Moon Dust, Frap, Bada Bing, Glamorous. And then this obviously isn't an everyday color, but this is Neptune. I thought... Why not? Then I'm also going to bring my MAC Tan Pigment, which I have all over my eyelids because this is my easy, everyday go-to eyeshadow for that dewy look. And I feel like I'm going to want to do that a lot when I'm there. And then I'm also, for eyeliner, going to bring my NYC Liquid Liner just because it's easy and it stays put all day long. So for makeup brushes, I'm leaving them in this little holder. So I'm going to be bringing my Sigma Large Powder F30 brush. Then for blush, I'll have my large contour. Most of these brushes are Sigma. You guys know I always use Sigma. Then I'm also bringing my FO5 small contour. I can use this to contour the face or for a highlighter. Then if I don't use my Beauty Blender for foundation, I'm going to bring my Real Techniques foundation brush. And I also have this Precision Round brush. I think it's P82. Yeah, the P82 from Sigma. Just in case I need to contour anything or clean up anything, it's always a nice little precision brush to have. Um, I'm also bringing my contour brush from Real Techniques. Then my Sonia Kashuk Duo Fiber Brush because this is pretty much my go-to duo fiber. I use it for everything. Then I have the Sigma F35. I use this to set my concealer. Then I'm also bringing my Itza brush from NARS. And for eyes, I'm bringing four brushes. I have my E40 to blend, my E25 for the crease, my E58 for the lid color, and then the pencil brush for the lower lash line and in the crease. And those are all the brushes that I'm bringing. And the last thing that I'm bringing are lip products. <laughs> Don't judge me. 
you guys know I love my lippies. I gotta have my options or I have withdrawals and I can rock any kind of lip color again with natural makeup. So I decided to bring <laughs> quite a few lip options. Most of the lip products I'm bringing are drugstore just because I didn't want to bring any really nice lipsticks in case they melt because that would be no good. So first I'm bringing Fuchsia Flash by Maybelline. This is from the Vivids collection. I am bringing Dose of Colors Lip Gloss and Wild Child, a lip gloss version of Show Orchid by MAC. Then for gloss, I'm bringing Patience Please Pro Longwear, which is on my lips right now. And I am bringing one MAC lipstick, but it's a limited edition. So, I mean, if something happens to it, I'll be okay. I don't ever really wear it, but it's called Of Royalty. It's a limited edition light pink. I also have that on today. And then, okay, another, I brought one more other nice lipstick. And this is Cosmo Pop by Lime Crime because I know I'm really going to want to wear it when I'm there. Okay, I just know it. Then I'm bringing my Whitening Lightning Nude Gloss because this will be my purse. It's just my go-to. I can wear it without anything. Then in case I want a Chola lip while I'm there, I'm bringing um, Wet n Wild Cherry Bomb, which is like a dupe of Diva by MAC. Um, let's see. I've got some lip pencils. I'm bringing MAC's Cherry Lip Liner, MAC's Night Moth Lip Liner, MAC's Magenta Lip Liner, and then I'm also bringing Strip Down. I just put it on, so I don't know where it is, but I'm bringing that one as well for my nude lips. Then if I want a red lip, I'm going to be using this Sephora Lip Stain and Strawberry Kissed. Um, I have this NYX Butter Gloss in Eclair for like a light pink. I love this. And I'll be wearing that lip gloss with this lipstick. This is L'Oreal's Fairest Nude, which I almost need to buy another one. Ugh, I love this color. If you've never tried it, you will love this color. It's one of the best, if not the best, drugstore lipstick out there. Then I'm also bringing NYX Lipstick in Indie Flick. This is a dupe for Lady Danger by MAC. And since I didn't want my Lady Danger to melt, so I'm going to bring this one. Then for a purple lip, I'm bringing Maybelline's Lavender Voltage. I think this was limited edition. And for gloss over that, I'm bringing this purple lip gloss by Maybelline. This is called Vision and Violet. It's an elixir. I have a video on swatches of these. I'll link down below. And I'm also bringing the Signature Scarlet Elixir for red lip. Then the last lippy that I'm bringing is the Rimmel Show Off Lip Lacquer in Stellar. It's like a vibrant watermelon shade. So that's everything that I'm bringing. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know that this is a lot of makeup for some people. I'm not saying that it's not, but this is just what I'm bringing. It's what I'm comfortable bringing, and I might try to cut it down a little bit more. But nine days for me is a long time, so I want to have my options, and I want to be able to wear makeup. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you're in Puerto Rico or you'll be in Puerto Rico, please make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram so you can come see me if you want to come say hey. And I'll see you in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.